Hello everyone. Let's talk about a new problem today that is single number 2. What does this problem exactly says is that you will be given an array of integers and in this particular array every element is going to appear thrice except for one element which is going to appear only once and your task is to find that particular element which does not appear thrice. I hope the question is clear. Let's look at a example now to understand it better, right? The first array contains all these elements, right? And in this array, you will see that there is only one element that is four that is appearing only once in this particular array. So for this array, for this first example input, the output is going to be four. Now. For the second example, you will see here that in the given array, there is only one element that is appearing once and that element is one and this element needs to be returned. So for this particular question, the output is going to be one. Now, let's try to make some observation to see how we will solve this question, right? Now here, let us look at every bit position. Here, you will see that every number that appears thrice will either contribute to three ones or three zeros to that particular position, right? Also, the number that appears once, let's say that number is x, will contribute exactly one zero or one one to that particular position depending on whether it has zero or one in that position, right? So let's take an example to understand this. Let's say the array elements are 4, 4, 4 and 2, right? So if I write the bit values of these numbers, I will get this, right? So here you will see that since 4 is occurring thrice, it is contributing to 3 ones at this particular bit position. And since 2 is occurring once, so it is only contributing 1, 0 to this position. Similarly, for this uh, next bit position as well, three zeros are being contributed, whereas only one one is being contributed. And here, three zeros are being contributed from the three fours, and one zero is being contributed from the number two. So you will see that every at every bit position, we will have either three x plus one zeros, right, or we will have three x plus one ones depending on the uh, bit values of the number x right so this these three x right since every number is appearing in a multiple of three so this x could be any common number right De uh, basically will depend on the number of will be depending on the numbers which are occurring thrice and this will be the factor multiplied because each number is occurring thrice right so we will have these this factor 3x factor because every number is occurring thrice for the bit positions and this one factor will come because of a number which is uniquely occurring in the array right so using this observation we will solve our question right so let's take this example only and continue forward right the elements are 4, 4 and 2, right? So when I write these again, right, what I can just simply do is I can take the sum of the bit values at every position, right? I can just take the sum of the bit values at every position. When I do this here, I get 3 as my sum, right? I get 3 as my sum and when I take its mod by 3 only, I will reduce, I will reduce or I will say get away from all the elements which are occurring thrice right I will get away from all these bits values so when I take the mod with 3 of 3 I get a 0 here right similarly the process is followed here I get when I take the sum I get 1 I take a mod with 3 I get 1 so this bit right this bit which is here is presenting the bit which is actually left out right because when I take the mod with 3, all the bits which are occurring thrice in a multiples of 3 are being cancelled out and the only left bit here is 1, right? And here also when I take the sum, I get 0 and when I take the mod with 3, I get 0 again, right? And when you get and 
whatever sum or whatever let's say the number you get in the end is actually the number which is occurring once right here i get when i take the sum of all the bit positions and then take a mod by 3 and in the end which is no the number which is being formed is here 2 and i can simply say that this is the number which is occurring once now what will be the time complexity you will see here that since we are let's say we are taking n bit numbers right we are taking n bit numbers and we are going over each bit and calculating its sum so the time complexity here is going to be order of n right and what about the space complexity you will see here that let's say we are taking the only numbers or numbers up to 32 bits so i can basically take an array i can basically take an array of size 32 and store the bits or the sum of the bits after taking the mod at every ith index only and since i am taking constant space of size 32 i can say that my space complexity is order of 32 which is equivalent to order of 1 only so i am taking a constant space here to solve this question and a time complexity of order of n now i hope this question is clear to you thank you